Okay, 13, a pipelines running from point N to point G. Those are your two points, how much pipe is needed? Okay, so how much pipe is needed? This one is looking for distance. I'm not gonna write out the distance equation because I just did that on the other sheet. So I'm gonna take negative 52 minus negative 10. There is my run. And because I did this point minus this point, I have to do that again, so 15 minus minus six. Yeah, sorry about that, that was a minus six there. And uh, so negative 52 plus 10 is root 42. Sorry, is negative 42. Uh, negative 42 squared plus uh, 21 squared. Distance is going to equal, so 42 squared plus 21 squared is the square root of 2,000. 205 or through that's approximately 46.957 huh problem how do we round this thing well if I round to this decimal place this is going to bring that up to zero which rounds that up one so 47.0 watch that rounding uh, B a pressure release relief valve located halfway along the pipe. Oh, I should put, yeah, anyways, I'm not going to waste my time here, but you should. Therefore, how much pipe is needed? Oh, looks like I am wasting my time here. 47 meters is needed. Okay, halfway along the pipe. They are going to place something halfway along the pipe. Where is halfway along the pipe? Well, find the midpoint. Midpoint of NG in this case is negative 52 plus negative 10. Divide by 2. Just add the x's and add the y's. 15 plus negative 6. Divide by 2. Uh, so we're going to get negative 52 minus 10 equals that. Divide by 2 is negative 31 comma 4.5 okay those are the easy ones now C is the difficult question this is our distance from point to a line question a factory is located so F factory is located at negative 823 and then what is the closest distance the factory is from the pipeline if NG, oh that's nice, and they even gave us the equation here. Line NG is Y equals negative 0.5X minus 11. Okay, so normally you have to figure that equation out, but here they nicely gave it to us, so, well, run with it. Okay, we need to find distance from point to a line. Now, remember, little picture here. So you have a line here, negative 11, sloping at negative a half, maybe look something like that. You have a point at negative 823, maybe look something like that. Now the distance from that point to the line is a perpendicular distance. It's gotta be perpendicular to that line to be the shortest distance, otherwise you'd be measuring way out here and that wouldn't make any sense. So I need a perpendicular line and then I'm going to need to find the point of intersection of the two lines and then find the distance from that factory to the point of intersection. Okay, this is how I usually show my work. Line one, well it's given. Now what I'm going to do with line 1 though is I don't like that negative 0.5. I'm going to turn that into negative 1 half x because now it's easier to find line 2. Line 2 has to be a negative reciprocal to line 1 because it's got to be running perpendicular. So you take line 1 and you take the negative reciprocal slope which is 2. You flip it, change the sign. That's how you do a negative reciprocal. Okay, whoa, that's not line 2. All I know is the slope so far. I don't know where the B value is. What I have to do to find B is I have to sub in the point that it goes through, which as again, you can see from the dry drawing, the point is F. So plug in F. 23 is the Y, two is the slope, negative eight's the X, and that's minus B. Solve for that, 23 equals negative 16 minus B, check the 16, 23 plus 16 equals negative B. And yeah, I can't believe I just used a calculator for that. Uh, that's equal to negative b, 
Wait, no it isn't. Ah, ugly question. Okay, sorry. Y is equal to, whoops, I'll write it somewhere on the page here. Y is equal to MX plus B. I don't know why I had negative B here. So Y is equal to MX plus B. So these were supposed to all be plus. So this is actually positive B. So B is 39. Okay, so line two, Y is equal to 2X plus 39. Sorry, I hope that wasn't too confusing there. When you sub into Y equals MX plus B, use plus B. I don't know why I did negative. Oh wait, yes I do, because I had written down that 11 first of all, and it was negative 11. Okay, sorry, Let's see if I can pull the rest of this together. Okay, you find line one, you find line two, you find the POI next. So the POI is going to be the point of intersection of these two lines. I'm gonna do substitution, I'm gonna put this in a bracket, plug it into that Y, which ends up looking like 2X plus 39 equals negative 1 half X minus 11. I'm gonna get rid of this two. Now you don't have to do this. If you wanna work in fractions, that's cool. But I'm gonna times both sides everything by two. So this is gonna to go to four X plus 60, 78 equals negative X, because two times a half just takes the fraction away, minus 22. Okay, bring the X over here and we get five X's. Negative 22 minus another 78. goes to negative 100 exactly, and divide off the five, and x equals negative 20. Not done, I'm solving a point of intersection. After you get the x, you have to go back and get the y. Now I'm gonna plug it back into here. So y is equal to two times this negative 20 that I solved, plus 39. So y is equal to negative 40 plus 39 is negative one. Now, let's have a look and see if that makes any sense. So here's my sketch. It's way back at negative 20, which kind of makes sense. And negative one, uh, it looks a little low for my drawing, but my drawing wasn't very accurate. I think that this is good. Okay, found the POI. So negative 20 comma negative one is the point of intersection. Okay, now after line one and line two and POI, I finally can solve for my distance between the POI and that original point. So I'm finding this distance here. So D is equal to the square root of negative eight minus minus 20. So X minus X squared plus Y minus Y squared. So 23 minus minus one squared. Distance equals the square root of um, negative eight plus 20. It's 12 squared plus 24 squared. Equals the square root of 720 equals 26.8 is the distance from the fact. And let's hope those were done right.